Hello friends and welcome to Techie Jack. In this video we are going to learn about how to implement backup in Exchange Server 2016. So whenever you are planning an Exchange Server 2016 backup, you should consider like which data you want to restore and you should only take a backup of that data which you must restore. So by limiting the backup data size, it decreases the time it takes to perform a backup and it would also provide a flexibility in your backup schedule. There are multiple third-party solutions available in a market for Exchange Server Backup, but you can use a Windows Server Backup available in Windows Server Operating System, and even you can use a Microsoft System Data Center Protection Manager to take a backup of your Exchange Server. Let's discuss like what are the data loss scenario in Exchange Server 2016. Data loss scenarios. So whenever you identify a risk to your Exchange Server, you must consider all the potential data loss scenario that can affect the workflow of your organization and basically in exchange environment the possible data loss scenario includes like lost items lost mailboxes lost databases lost servers and lost sites or even data centers so let's have a look on lost items a lost item can be a small piece of information inside the email and it often occurs because when a user deleted an email or any item by accidentally or on purpose. Lost item includes an email message or any calendar items. A lost item might also include attachment or any other information which is important to a user. Our second data loss scenario is lost mailboxes. It typically occurs when an exchange administrator deletes a user mailbox and it happens when a user leaves the organization and later on the user manager needs access to the mailbox to view the project on which a user was working and if the administrator already deleted the mailbox the manager can no longer view its content so it is very important to think before deleting a mailbox either you can assign that mailbox to any other user or you can download a backup of that content to any other places so that it can be viewed later. Our third data loss scenario is lost databases. If you think like you have lost a database that means all the mailboxes in that database is lost. Additionally while the database is missing the users whose mailboxes are in that database can no longer access their mailboxes and the user cannot send and receive message to each other and it typically occurs uh, because of the system malfunction which can include a disk failure or database corruption and the recovery of lost database is very critical because the outage might affect many users our fourth data loss scenario is lost servers if you lost a server that means as a result you lose all the databases on that server and a lost server typically occurs because of a system or infrastructure failure and in the same way the lost server recovery is also a critical because the outage may affect many users because the server is not available many users will be affected and they will not be able to send and receive their emails our fifth data loss scenario is lost sites or data centers a lost site or data center is a scenario like where all the servers in a data center are unavailable because of a catastrophic event or failure such as floods, fire, earthquake or any major power outages. So the organization that have a multiple data center or that have a disaster recovery site are more resilient in these scenarios compared with the organization that have a single data center. So if you're planning your exchange to be more site resilient, you should have a multiple data center in a different location. Now I hope you get the idea of data loss scenarios in Exchange Server 2016. For further updates, please do subscribe the channel and let's meet in the next video.